A break in the rain and a bit of sunshine does wonders and it had left everything looking fresh. In front of us the small black crabs moved and they were in and out of the water probably only as big as the end of your thumb. They were scavenging and sifting through the mud, all competing for food here. Some of the crabs sat in the water. Under the water, their pincers were still moving and feeding on what was in the mud. Others fought over a rotting mangrove tree pod. Thousands of these little crabs moved amongst the mangrove's aerial pencil roots, which were in the form of tendrils, which periscoped out of the mud. They do this so they can get fresh air above the mud. In the open spaces between the, the tendrils, a mud skipper had found itself amongst these crabs. I'm not sure if they were interested in it as prey, but I'm sure the mud skipper was uh, far too slippery and the crabs far too clumsy to catch it. Eventually it uh, found safety and uh, rested on a tendril above the water and away from these irritating little crabs. Not far away, next to the river, mud skippers had found a much more peaceful life on the river bank. I scrambled on my, my knees, trying to get as close as I could to these mud skippers. I marveled at the color and size of these uh, mud skippers' eyes. They could see what was happening in all directions with these huge eyes. Because their eyes don't have tear ducts, uh, you get this behavior where you, you see the eyes actually popping in and out. And what is actually happening is uh, they're rolling their eyes back into their sockets to keep them moist. I also spotted other behavior where I saw the mud skippers actually twisting their body or, or turning it and, and flipping themselves into the water. And I think they were doing the same things, dipping their eyes into the water to keep them moist. The red mangrove crabs were all over the mangrove forest floor next to the river. When uh, moving closer, they darted into their burrows, sensing every vibration from our feet. They also feel the vibrations of the older yellow leaves that uh, drop from the mangrove trees. And as they hit the ground, these huge red crabs tentatively exit their muddy burrows and uh, grasp onto these leaves with their pincers and then uh, surprisingly quickly shoot back into their holes.